here. Go to Toronto, a big game coming up on Friday. What needs to be the mindset the final 16? Uh, stay locked in. Stay locked in, you know. You know, it's not Cancun on three like Coach said. We actually playing for something. So just taking it one game at a time and uh, getting ready for, for this run. Let's not do Cancun on three for a while. All right, great job, Ty. All right, David, we're going to enjoy the song. Let's hold off on Cancun for quite some time. I've never heard that one. I like that one. <laughs> Cancun on three. We don't want to hear that, but we do want to hear. He's kind enough to join us, and Dell, congrats on the victory here tonight. We were just uh, talking about your ball movement. 29 assists here tonight. Uh, what did you see as far as that unselfish play tonight? Um, honestly, I give a lot of credit to you know the guys with, who have the ball in their hands their most. Um, I'll say Paulo France. Jay Suggs, you know, they, they kind of set the table for everyone tonight early on, and it made it easy for them to get their buckets um, later on in the game. So they did a really good job of, um, you know, just, just finding an open man, and we did a really good job of knocking down shots. Wendell, when you're, uh, when you're back there uh, under the basket defensively, when you see guards like uh, Jalen Suggs and Gary Harris picking up defensively the way they did tonight, how, how do you react to that? Um, it, it turns me up. It keeps me engaged. Um, you know, as the back line of defense, knowing that um, they're speed, they, uh, uh, Jalen and, and guys like Jalen and Gary are speeding them up. Um, it just makes it keeps me more engaged. So, uh, um, you know, those two guys are phenomenal defenders. You know, the proof is in the pudding. You know, day in and day out. You know, they're shutting down a lot of a lot of the great guards across the league. So, whenever they're picking up full and making it hard, it, we usually don't even have to guard for that long. You know, they they start their offense at like 17, 16 seconds. So, right. you know, it's a lot of a lot of credit to them for sure. The last two games didn't go the way you wanted, but you completely flipped the script here tonight. What did you learn about the last two games that you wanted to correct tonight? Um, you know, in my opinion, um, we got a little taste of a playoff experience. Um, you know, New York is in the same spot as us in the Eastern Conference. And then um, our last game, I can't even remember who we just played. <laughs> Indiana. Indiana. I know that. Uh, it's that time of year, Dale. <laughs> all run together. <laughs> um, you know, they did a really good job of just being physical. Um, you know, in the playoffs, you know, from what I've seen, from from watching, you know, there's not a lot of uh, fouls called. So um, they just kind of gave us a taste of, you know, what to expect in the playoff atmosphere, um, especially the New York game. I think, you know, that was a really good test for us, and I'm glad it happened to us now instead of yes. um, in the playoffs. Yeah, I think uh, as as you go down the stretch here, Wendell, what's the uh, what's the wording from the coaching staff about approaching each individual game? Um, right now, it's very important for us to to approach every game as a must win. Um, you know, we want to have a good standings going into the playoffs. So, um, you know, these last couple couple games, if I'm not mistaken, maybe 15, 16 games left. Um, we have to do a really good job of just um, taking each game one game at a time and um, um, treating it as a game that is a must-win for us. So it's, it sets us up you know, for later on in the postseason. How about you tonight, Dell? You made a concerted effort to, to, to get on the glass. Uh, David and Jeff are listening, and they commented many times about, I grabbed some grown man rebounds tonight in traffic. <laughs> yeah. uh, what was your mentality here tonight? Um, you know, from, from the last couple of games, just individually, I, I told myself that I'm going to affect the game in, in, in ways that um, you know, brings great energy to this team. Um, you know, rebounding, blocking shots. Uh, dunking the ball whenever I'm around the basket, um, you know, just doing all the dirty, the dirty work. Knowing that I'm a pretty, pretty good offensive player, you know, I want to, you know, be able to do things that brings great energy to this team, so that you know, um, everyone just stays engaged. I think that's a, a thing that we all do, are all capable of, uh, one through 15. So that's kind of my 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 approach to every game right now. Well, it's a great approach. It's working. Last thing, let everybody know. You're right. There's 16 games left. You got a okay. big one, Toronto, uh, in Toronto yep. on Friday. What's your mentality here down the stretch? I know you don't look past any opponent, but yep. are you watching other games? Are you watching the standings? Are you keeping track of everything for the playoffs? Oh, absolutely. I mean, just me personally, I've never been to the playoffs, so this is a different <laughs> type of feel for me <laughs> around yes, this time of right. year. So, I'm definitely paying attention. I'm watching every game, every every Eastern Conference game. Um, if it's you know any team in our um, in our area, in the standings, you know, I'm watching every game, you know, just seeing how they play and, um, you know, just trying to be as prepared as I can going into the postseason. Join the club. It's a lot of fun right now. Yeah. This, this is great, Wendell. Keep it up. Yeah. Good luck in Toronto on Friday. All right. Appreciate you. Good luck. What do you like about your group's ability to come out, set the tone, withstand their runs, and, and come away with the victory tonight? I liked our defensive energy, um, being able to pick up full court 
Uh, and then our, the way in which we shared the basketball, I think that was, that was fun to watch. Uh, the way in which we were moving it, sharing it, guys stepping into their shots with confidence. I think that's the way in which we need to continue to play. Oh, didn't miss a shot besides one free throw tonight from the floor. He was perfect. What did you like about his patience finding and looking for his shot tonight? I thought he did a great job of recognizing and reading the way the defense was loading up on him. Uh, he had some great passes cross court, uh, recognizing where the double teams were coming from. But he, he had a level of patience and poise, uh, being able to read the game. And his, the, his teammates continue to trust him, and he continues to make the right play. We saw in Brooklyn make a little bit of a run there at the end of the at the end of the second quarter, kind of get into the foul line like like yeah. they like they did Sunday, like Indiana did Sunday. What does it say about this team to, to respond at halftime and come out and kind of put the foot down in the third quarter and, and you know obviously not maybe not run away with it, but keep them at arm's length? Well, that's why you, you say there's lessons that you learn in those losses, right? So you look back at that Indiana game and you say, okay, what happened in that moment? And don't get distracted. Um, don't let the officiating bother you. Just stay focused on what we're capable of doing. Defend better without fouling. Take care of the basketball. Take shots when you're open. Uh, then that's what these guys did, you know, because you can always reference back to that so they know exactly what that feels like. Coach, it might not always show up in the stat sheet for a guy like Gary Harris, but mm -hmm. you can tell his impact out there with a three-point shooting and obviously his defense on the perimeter. Just how much of an impact has he been making as of lately? Gary is just steady. Right? Every time he steps in the ball game, you just know what you know what you're going to get. Uh, his ability to pick up full court, change the way they defend, fights over screens, uh, extremely physical, does it the right way, and then he spaces the floor and guys trust him uh, when they pass it to him to you know step in and make his shot. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Coach, uh, Jalen obviously is a big difference maker, but tonight it, it was really noticeable at the beginning of the game. Do you agree that that's where he had his biggest impact? He sets the tone defensively, but also he got he came out and was willing to you know step into a shot with confidence. Uh, if you notice, there's a couple times he gets the ball in transition, flattened the defense out like we talked about with his pace, got it back to guys, the ball moved, and we ste were able to step into shots. But his defensive energy, his defensive focus, his toughness, his energy, you know, the, our guys feed off of that. A lot this season about getting his legs back under him from mm -hmm. a defensive standpoint, but how have you seen him grow more comfortable with his shot as of late? Well, he's putting the work in, and I think that's been great. And his ability to continue to know what he's able to do defensively, uh, guard multiple positions, protect at the rim, finish possessions with the rebound. But then, you know, their guys are finding him in those corners, and he's, put, he's continued to put that work in to be able to allow his shot to, to fall.